Hi friends, happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. It is the start of our eighth week from home. If you're wondering why I'm wearing these glasses, if you guys think back to a few weeks ago, I read a story about a bunny named Henry. And Henry was with the Buccaneer Bunnies and he ended up saving the day because he was always had his nose in a book. So today we're going to read another Henry story, and it is Henry and the Crazed Chicken Pirates. And you'll notice I'm wearing my Henry glasses again. We look very similar. And there is Henry. Oh, and he has a book. All right, so we're going to read this story about Henry, and then we are also going to do a weekend recap from our challenge that Mrs. Luskin gave us for this weekend, and it was running the 50-meter dash. So... Stay tuned for that at the end of the video, but for now we are going to start eating Henry and the Crazed Chicken Pirates. Henry and the Buccaneer Bunnies lived on an island. They spent their days reading books they had collected over the years, shooting one another out of cannons and swinging from the masts of their ship. They were a happy bunch. Until one day when Henry found a mysterious message in a bottle. We're coming to steal all your loot. We'd appreciate your complete cooperation, Bok. Sincerely, your worst enemy. Henry couldn't stop thinking about the note. We might trip over coconuts while we're trying to run away from the enemies, he said to his fa father, Barnacle Blackear, in the midst of a heated game of coconut bowling. Stop worrying about all that old note, said Blackear. What if they come while we're sleeping, Henry asked Calico Jack Rabbit, who was busy swapping the deck. That's enough chitter chatter out of you, said Calico Jack. What if a pirate, what if a parrot poops in my eye and I can't see them coming, Henry fretted to Jean LaHare while helping him dig for lost treasure. Don't be a blubbering fool, said Jean LaHare. Relax, matey. A parrot poop in your eye. Oh my goodness. But Henry couldn't relax. He read everything he could. Soon Henry had enough information to start his own book which he called Henry's plan for impending danger from the unknown enemy who wrote the scary note. He spent every spare moment working on it. Quit wasting your time on writing. Leave that to the professionals, Black Ear bellowed every time he saw Henry making notes. But Henry kept writing. One day, on the other side of the island, Henry saw a strange sight. Floating down from the sky was a hot air balloon filled with crazed chicken pirates. Henry raced back to find the other buccaneer bunny. I just saw a hot air balloon filled with crazed chicken pirates, Henry cried. Black Ear laughed. You're talking crazy again, Henry. Maybe ye should get your eyes checked, said Jean LaHare. Or eat some carrots, said Calico Jack. But Henry knew what he had seen, so he started working even harder on his book, testing and retesting his strategies. Henry, what happened? My parrot poop helmet slipped down over my eyes and I tripped, said Henry. Henry, what's wrong now? I was trying to attach a ladder to my lookout, said Henry. Henry, what are you doing down there? I was trying to hop over my crazed chicken pirate trap, said Henry. Stop writing that blasted book of yours or I'll toss it into the sea, growled Black Ear. But Henry kept writing. One morning, Henry heard a funny sound coming from the ship. He paged through his book until he found the chapter he was looking for. Funny sounds coming from the ship. If funny sounds should start coming from the ship, investigate without being seen or heard. 
Henry grabbed his spyglass and quietly climbed up to his lookout. The other buccaneer bunnies were tied up while a gang of crazed chicken pirates rummaged through the ship. Get the ropes! Find their loop! Spill your guts or we'll throw ye to the shark! Uh oh, said Henry. He knew what he would he knew he would need to think fast and act bravely. The problem, thought Henry, is that I do not really think fast, and I am not brave at all. Then Henry remembered something from his chapter facing the enemy. When the enemy is nearby, pretend to be brave. Henry put on his parrot poop helmet, which always made him feel brave, grabbed a coconut, and hopped to the ship. Pretend to be brave, he whispered. He adjusted his parrot hoop helmet and tossed the coconut onto the ship. Hey, you crazy chicken pirates, you're nothing but a bunch of dopey drumsticks. Seconds later, they came dashing down the gangplank, clucking and flapping with gusto. Get him, shouted the largest one. Henry hopped faster than he had ever done before. Come back here! Stop that hippity hoppity walk walk! Henry just kept going until he reached his crazed chicken pirate trap. Just before he was about to fall in, he hopped to the right. Suffering scallywags! Crikey! Walk! Every last crazed chicken pirate tumbled into the trap. You blimey bunny, they shouted. Get us out. Sorry, said Henry. He scampered back to the ship and untied the crew. Three cheers for Henry, they cried, and they toasted him with cups of coconut milk. Anything in your book about what to do with a bunch of crazed chicken pirates? asked Blackie. As a matter of fact, there is, said Henry. Afterward, Henry sat down in the sand and started to write. What book are you writing now, Henry? asked Black Ear. Henry smiled. I think I'll call it Henry and the Crazed Chicken Pirates. The end. All right, friends. So for today, we are just going to have a Monday recap of our weekend challenge. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. So the weekend challenge is to do some warm-ups. So here we go. you are all getting ready and doing some stretches and getting ready for the 50 yard dash. I'm going to keep stretching. Hope you had a good weekend. Bye friends. Hi friends, it's Miss Tara doing some stretches before I walk.